Hi, Rich Spazano from Digitally Feelers. And today we're going to do another Copy That Thursday. This is number three. And this time I thought I'd take everybody's favorite character, which is Mickey, and we're going to just recreate him. Once again, I'm going to create him as a vector art, which can be done in Affinity Photo and in Affinity Designer. And he uses exactly the same tools. So whether you have Affinity Photo or Affinity Designer, this will work for you. So let's get started. I just did a Google search for Mickey Mouse and I pulled this one in and we're just gonna try and copy this. So the first thing I'm going to do is lock this because we don't wanna move the original. And now I'm just gonna get a close up of Mickey and I'll put him right in the center like that. And I'm going to go just like the last few tutorials, I love using shape tools. This one will not use all shape tools. We're also going to be using the pen tool a lot. So, but for most of the part here, it's going to be shape tools. So I'm going to take an ellipse and we're going to create a circle of some sort, an ellipse. And I'm just going to kind of get where I think most of it could be. And I think maybe there. And I'm going to give it a color just to distinguish it from the other one behind it. And I'm going to lower the opacity. And you could see right here that could come in a little bit more. And we don't care here because this goes behind Mickey. So this seems to be a little bit of a problem, but it's really not because all we have to do is click up here, convert to curves, and we will go to. We'll We'll press on the pen tool and go down to the node tool. And here we are in the node tool. And we can pull this out if we want. And pull this down. And get it as close as we want to get it. I would say if I hold option when I hand grab this handle, it only moves that side. So I can go there. And I think that's pretty close. So let's do that. And for speed in this tutorial, when I do the opposite sides, because they're not exactly the same, I am going to speed up the video so your tutorial is not as long. So you saw how I did the first one. So I'm actually going to duplicate that. Okay, so I'm back. So now, now that the ears are done, I'm going to change the opacity back. Actually, I'm going to first turn them to black, because that's the color of the ears, and bring the opacity up and again black and bring the opacity up all the way so now and all of this is going to be behind so we don't have to worry about any of this so we're done with the ears in fact i will rename them ears let's do the tan part of his face next i'll grab another ellipse and make it a different color so we can see it. Let's get a close up. And let's do that. Like that. Bring this down a little bit. And that's pretty close on the top. And now we change the opacity. I think I'll bring this right to kind of to the chin. And that looks pretty good. And then once again, convert to curves. And I think what I will do in this case with the node tool is add, if I double click here, I'm adding another node. So double click and I'm adding a node. And so we need to play with the handles just like before. Let's see, this can go in, no, that can go down like that. And that's pretty close. And we'll do it again on this side. And we'll bring that in. And this one, we'll bring it into here. And then again, if I hold the option key, I could play with just one side and I'm going to just pull that in. And I'm gonna pull that in too. And maybe a little more here. And I think that's pretty close, not perfect, but for this tutorial, we're trying to do it quickly. 
So I think I like that. So let's hide that a second because I want to take the color and match it up to this. And so this now, if I bring the opacity back up, turn it on, there you go. So that's his base of his face. So I am going to move that behind everything right now, even behind the main mouse. Remember, Mickey is locked right now, so we don't have to worry about it. So the next part is I'm going to actually duplicate that, Control or Command J. So now we have two of them. I'm going to bring that back up and lower the opacity. And I'm going to change the color again so we can see what we're working with. And bring the opacity a little bit higher up. Whoops. I don't want white. I want blue of some sort. There we go. Okay. I'm going to move these ears behind everything too. So they're not in my way. So now what we need, we want to get these grooves right here. So I'm going to, once again, take an ellipse. <laughs> I guess the ellipse is my favorite on this particular one. And I'm going to do something like this. Oops. And I'll bring it here and I'm going to tilt it. So now if I take these two and I go to Layer, Geometry, Add, they now become one. So if I have that one, I'm going to bring this one in the back up just to show you what I'm talking about. The one in the back is, let's say it was going to be black. So if I have this one and I go, that's on top and I select the second one. So I have the two selected. I can go to layer, geometry, subtract, and I just cut that out. So now we still only have, we only have this one black one now. So now what I need to do is get rid of this part. So this is an easy thing. I'm going to use the pen tool. I'm going to do this. And go right across to here. And then maybe like here. And down to here. And we'll go all around. So now that we have the pen tool, we give it a color. And remember what I did before? That's the first one, and I'm going to select the one underneath. So I'm holding shift. I have the two selected. This, I'm going to go to document. No, I'm sorry. Layer, geometry, subtract. So now that's our new frame around his face. So next is the eyes. The eyes are very simple. It's obvious. So I'm just going to give you something like this. Lower the opacity again. And I'll, I won't do both eyes together. I'll just, again, I'll rush through it. And that's going to be the white of the eyes. So I'll even make it white for now. But now I'm leaving it transparent because I need to do the bottom. So basically what I think I'll do is I'll duplicate it. Control Command J and shrink it down and I think that's good and that one's going to be black and I'll bring these opacities back up and this eye needs to have an outline so I'm going to give it a black stroke just about that much so I'll speed up I'm going to do the second part and I'm going to speed that up so um, I'll be back in a second Okay, so I'm back now. So now we have the eyes. All right, so we have the ears, we have the face, we have the black around here, and we have the eyes done. Okay, simple stuff. We might as well just do simple. Nose. It's going to be like this, basically. Let's make it a different color once again. And make sure that there's no outline on it. And whoops, undo. And let's do this. There you go. Nose. Now we make it black. Good. 
And now comes the, let's do this arch right here. And what I'll use for that is I'll use a different one in the shapes. I'm going to use the crescent tool. And we'll see how that's going to work. Um, it's something like this, I think. And let's give it a different color so we can get an idea of what we're working with. And we're going to turn it. I'll hold shift for now, but we'll probably have to fix it later. And thinking like that. And then I think I can narrow that in like that. And let's see, maybe a little more now. That's not bad. Um, we can bring that in more, just like that. And then we make that black. That's pretty good. And now comes the mouth. Actually, we can steal the, this one. We're going to do Control or Command J and bring this one here, make it really small and turn it this way still small and maybe like that a little bit like that and we'll give it a little bit of a wider like that and i think that looks pretty good so let's move that one into place and then we'll control a command j we're going to copy it again we'll go arrange flip horizontally and we'll move that to the other side pretty close. That looks great. And then we will do the mouth. Now the mouth I am going to do with the pen tool. So let's just grab a pen and let's get really close and start drawing. So we'll start here and I am just going to kind of click, click, click. So now that I've done that, I can go to the node tool and start moving, just dragging these out to get it into position where I think it should be like that. This one can come in. This one can come in. Oops. I think this should come a little down more and then this can move in and this one. And this one, and this one, I think a little bit like that. And I think that works out pretty good and I'm going to make it black. And now I need to change the opacity down just so actually I won't even, I'll just hide the black and then I'll just draw. Now I have to draw this one and I'm going to do that once again with the pen tool, same idea. And then we're going to turn that red. And I want to make sure they have no outline on that either. And so that's that. And now we can bring back our mouth. And I think, I'm not sure if I got it all. Okay, so now I'm going to slide Mickey down to the bottom. And you can see that this is on top. Something is still not 100% opacity. And I believe it's right here. It's the black on top. So let's select all of this, group it, and move it over. And there you go. I don't know what this point is. Oh, that point is part of this. So that was a mistake. I could grab a rectangle, put it on top of it, and then grab that plus the black. And do once again, layer, uh, where am I? Geometry, subtract, and it's gone. So let's go back and see what we got. So there's Mickey. And he is a vector graphic. You can turn him into an EPS, an SVG, and he can be sized any way without losing resolution. One more thing maybe you want to do. I'm not really sure if you don't have to, but if you want to take his face and give it a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of an outline just to show the bottom, I'm going to go really low like that. And I think that helps him a little too. So I hope you liked this tutorial, and if you did, please click like and subscribe, and have a great day. Thank you.